My name is Christopher Guzman, and this is the Sleeping Bag Project. Did you know that 70.9% of families, including about 24.9% of children in the Allegheny County live in poverty? That a quartz foundry alone provided in 2014 more than 1,000 boxes, food boxes, and just on that, there were more than 2,000 uh, parents which had about more than 1,000 kids. And then that, is, that also counts about 293 elders in that, in that households. And about 20% of Allegheny County households, it was until they, were, they could not afford living in their homes. Do you understand what is going on with these numbers? Well, the reason why we want to bring sleeping bag projects. First of all, let's explain what is the, what is poverty. 30, uh, 30, 38.3% of all families with female female head holes, uh, with children live in poverty. The hunger. In 2013, 49.1 million Americans lived in food insecurity household, including 33.3 adults and 15 and 15.8 million children. That this information comes from Feeding America. And the homeless. Just in, in, in January of 2013, more than 600,000 people were living homeless, according to the U.S. Department of Household and Urban Development Point in Time Homelessness Count in 2013. Now, why the Sleeping Back Project? The Sleeping Back Project was an idea created about more than 30, 30 years ago in Pennsylvania. And it was with a group called My Brother's Keeper's Quilt Group. And what they do is that they use recyclable textiles and, or fabrics. And what they do is that they sew sleeping bags and then distribute to the homeless. Uh, this is a nonprofit organization. And the only purpose of this is to keep warm homeless people till they can find, uh, till can find help or heal from someone from our society. When we present this project, many times people come up with ideas, and most of the ideas that people propose are just targeting the government, saying that we should uh, go upon the government and say that the government should provide cheaper houses, uh, have better um, food plants, food, like food stamps, and other accessibility from the government. Although already the government is working on this, as college students today, I like to I like to propose to you. That, that we can actually do something. And tonight, I just want to share some awareness of it, and at the same time, encouraging you and persuading you to actually see that as college students, we can actually do something, which is just building up a simple sleeping bag. Our, uh, the mission, my mission is just to encourage students to help in this regard of finding ideas, finding simple ideas, not only doing sleeping bags, but even other, other ideas that you can come up with. Such as just a student who's in business can even help us to help the homeless or people who have low income just to help them how to manage their money. Simple ideas like that we can provide. The vision is basically just to create an action team, so a group of students that will just come up with, with, with plans and ideas. And after we have, this, we have this solid group from other different organizations that are already working on campus, organization such as the Lighthouse Christian Fellowship, the Newman Club, and also sustainability and civic engagement, which I've been already um, spoken about this project. They already they already on the plan of moving and saying yes, this is something that we definitely would like to help on. As I said, my approach about this has been just um, gathering information from article from articles uh, different statistics from uh, national national organizations and also from clubs around campus. I've been asking them and seeing what's their input on it and what's their interest in doing something. Already, about two weeks ago, I was able, with the Sustainability Club during the Earth Week, I was able to present some of this information to, to, some, to some students and just provide, like I said, some awareness and encouragement of the small things that we can do such as just building a sleeping bag out of recycled material. Just as big as this idea looks like of fighting hunger, homelessness, and poverty, 
There's actually this very simple implementation. I like to call it investigation, contact, partnership, promotion, and share. We just need to investigate some information of what is going on in your local area. Right now, we live in, we live in the village of Alfred. In Allegheny County, it is one of the poorest counties. It's actually the third county poorest in the whole New York State. Not only that, but a household in Allegheny County is one third of the price compared to any other place in New York State. However, 20%, as I mentioned, are not able to pay their homes. Contact. As simply as, one, as we are being investigated, as we investigate, we find all these organizations. However, Alfred Village has no food pantry, nor it has no place for homeless. In Westville, a court, in Westville, a court has only one, one room for one person in case they need an emergency for homelessness. Partnership. Just, basic, just basically um, then working with different organizations and then promoting this idea to other organizations and finally just sharing and sharing just this information. The idea of this is just doing something step by step. It is not something that we're just going to take all this uh, in, into our hands, but just um, unifying unify groups, we are going to be able to colonize the Allegheny County. The Sleepy Mac Project in Alfred State College. Right now, in you, you will have a sign-up sheet at the end of this presentation, and uh, we are promising that by next semester, this plan will be will begin, and we will be constructing we will be constructing um, Sleepy Macs. And just know something: this is just a small bite out of a small pie. Thank you for your attention.